The Pittsburgh Steelers are pissed at Le'Veon Bell and for a good reason. Hello and welcome to The Fumble here in LA. I'm Crystal Rich. If you are excited for the start of the NFL season tonight with the Atlanta Hawks traveling to the Lynx to take on my Philadelphia Eagles and leave burn emojis in the comments below. And while you're at it, click the subscribe button below to join our notification squad and stay up to date on the latest sports news. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Crystal Rich. Steelers players and fantasy football owners are pissed off that Le'Veon Bell reportedly will not play in week one because of contract money issues and honestly they have every right to be mad. Everyone is coming at Le'Veon's neck and they are not being shy about it. He held out throughout the entire preseason just as he did last year but the difference is last season he returned to the team right after the preseason was over. This year he is threatening to stay out for well into the regular season. The problem is he refused to sign his franchise tag which would make him 14.5 million dollars this year. No long term stability. I get it. You want on security, we all do, but when it comes to the regular season, dog, it's not a one man sport. The offensive linemen are working so hard for you to create holes and opportunities for you to get yards for you. And no offensive lineman seemed more upset than Raymond Foster. He had about a million quotable moments talking about Le'Veon, and I'm about to give you all of them. Number one, what do you do? Here's a guy who doesn't give a damn, so we'll treat it as such. Hear that anger? Steelers Nation tweeted out with an unexpected turn for the worst. We don't expect Le'Veon Bell to report to the Steelers until week 10. He will essentially cost himself eight million dollars to get to free agency with less wear on his body. Week 10, y'all. Number two, Foster talks about not giving a darn about Le'Veon, not getting the money and longevity he wants because, well, he's still making over 14 million dollars. He said. I just hate that it came to this. He's making seven times what I make, twice as much as Al is making, and we're the guys who do it for him. Ouch. AOLB, your boys aren't happy. And Le'Veon saw his teammates' feelings on Instagram and commented, whoa, wake up call or not? Nah? But that's not all that Foster said. In his mind, he's already moving on to the next man up, running back James Conner, who has one year under his belt. He said, if we start off with James, I think we'll be fine. He's a guy who's worked his butt off. He's made strides. He's made us confident in him. He gets to start. We roll with him. No disrespect to Bell, but this is a moving train. Time out. You know when someone starts a sentence with no disrespect, they are about to follow up with the most disrespectful follow-up ever. No disrespect, I know God doesn't make any mistakes, but you're the dumbest, ugliest human on this earth. It has to have been a mistake. No disrespect, but your mother's a man. Give me your best no disrespect response to Le'Veon Bell in the comments below. Another man on the O-line, center Marquise Pouncey, said Le'Veon was a little selfish. He also said he's kind of pissed that he's playing hide and seek since his agent is talking to the media instead of him. Honestly, I would probably let my representation talk for me too, just so if everyone comes to the conclusion that I was advised badly, he gets more of the blame. One thing that I don't agree with his agent Adisa Bakarion is this. He said, the Steelers have one of the best players to play the position and they use him heavily for the production he can provide. But in doing so, you take away from his future years. Um. Sir, I get that you want 10% of your client's paycheck for years to come, but if you want your client to get a long-term deal, he has to be okay with getting most of the snaps. Why are they even paying him for him to be in condition and ready to cut up the field? You know who else is pissed off at Le'Veon? Fantasy football owners. I played fantasy for just under 10 years, so I completely understand this, especially if you are in a paid league. I'm just so glad that I took Saquon Barkley and not Le'Veon Bell. Jordan Payne said, bro, I picked you number one in fantasy, so F all that money, go play. I spent $30 to join this league. Le'Veon might be worried about making more than $14.5 million, but we're just worried about our 30 bucks, okay? Black Santa said, dead ass, give me 100 bucks to reimburse me for my fantasy league if you're going to be an expletive boy and not play. Even some girls who play fantasy are pissed. Mikel said, hey Le'Veon, 
you are a real asshole for holding out until week 10 if true. Not only have you let the city of Pittsburgh down, but you totally effed over anyone who drafted you in fantasy. Hope Tomlin benches your greedy ass when you do decide to come back. Love, a pissed off ex fan. The Steelers are playing the Browns in week one. I highly doubt they'll lose, but if Baker Mayfield pulls it off, more power to him, but everyone in Pittsburgh will be after Le'Veon's head if they lose to Cleveland. What are your thoughts on Le'Veon's holdout in the regular season? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching The Fumble. I'm Crystal Rich.